In Rhino Gold, we have three different types of Pave tools. We have Pave uh, Automatic, Dynamic, and we have a long UV. Uh, in this video, we're going to be covering the automatic Pave, and later in other videos, we're going to see the dynamic and UV uh, options. So uh, let me open up uh, the file that I have for this. Let me go to over here. Here's my Pave exercise file. Let me maximize over here. And let's go over here and click on Pave Automatic. When the window opens up, uh, it's waiting for the surface. So we have to click Select and pick the surface that we want. Notice that automatically, once I clicked on that surface, it starts right there at the center. And the default settings have the stone sizes uh, at 1.3. And uh, the the carat weight point zero zero eight, and the the gap between the stones is point four. So uh, let me do a, let me show you here. We can change this, for example, to two millimeters, makes them a little bit larger, and maybe the gap, maybe point two, a little tighter. Now. Uh, Notice over here says keep overlap stones and then keep gap distance to boundaries. And I'll explain what that does in just a second. Uh, notice that you can scroll down and there's more options down here. Uh, and here we have a, the pattern. It can be hexagonal. You know, it, it can be, uh, you know, with the five stones or with the four stones. You know, so uh, in this case, for example, we got that one where we can switch to that one. Notice how it updates or we can change, change to 4. We can change the angle maybe over here I could put 45 degrees. And notice that I now have that setup. Now I can put it back to 0, bring it back to the original. There we go. Now uh, I'm going to, once you, now that I have uh, this configured like, like this, I'm going to go ahead and click on preview to so you can see what's happening. Notice, before I do that, notice that I have it selected for the circle preview, which is only showing me circles for the stones. But if I click this one, it will do it showing me actual gems. Uh, so let's, let's go back to circles. And this is really nice because it doesn't show up your video memory. Uh, so let's click preview and see what happens here. So there is my first, uh, the first solution. And as you can see in red, it puts whatever stones don't fit are highlighted in red. And obviously those are stones that are too big to fit in those areas. Uh, notice over here it says keep overlap stones, which means that if we don't check that when we do click OK, it's going to make this pave leaving those out. And if that is what you want, then you can go ahead and do it that way. But you could also decide that you do want to uh, keep them. Because remember, all of these stones will be parametric. So we can tell Rhino Gold to keep those stones. And then later on, we can go and pick each one, you know, and then reduce their size with the parametric tools, you know. Uh, also, notice that they're getting really close to the edge here, right? We can click here to keep that distance, and maybe maybe I'm getting them a little bit too close together. So I'm going to make this. Uh, I'm going to make bring this back out to uh, 0.4, and uh, keep the distance to the boundary. Click preview, and now I get once again. Notice that it's keeping the boundary here now, and the gap updated, and I still got some of those red stones that are not showing. So in, if I keep the overlap stones, they'll be there. If I don't, once I click OK, there's the pave. As we can see, it's put in all those stones. Since I didn't select to keep the overlaps, it did not put them in there. So let's, uh, let me undo 
Now let me do that one more time. And this time, uh, let's do with the same settings, uh, 2.4, uh, keeping the distance from the edge. And this time, we'll keep the overlap stones. Let's click Preview. There. And then we can click OK. So now that we have the pave and we have the overlap stones, I can pick, for example, any of these. Maybe I can pick these two at the same time. So I know they're the same. And I can go to Edit and change their uh, diameter. In this case, it's already set to 1.6. You know, but we can make it any size. Notice how they scale up and down. So we can change their their uh, their their scale until we're happy, and then we can click update. And those stones are now uh, fixed. So that's why you know you can leave your overlap stones and then go back in there, and you can edit them. You know, and also remember you can also you know remove you know reorient them, put them in or put them, you know uh, anywhere you want to adjust them. You know, and another option you have. Uh, is will be to use the pave dynamic to add uh, those stones instead of having to adjust all of these and that's what we're going to learn in our in the next option which will be the dynamic uh, pave the final thing I want to show you about the automatic pave is is the following we can actually uh, create a pave based on sizes that we already have maybe in our stock instead of using just a generic size over here uh, I'm going to use some of these options here keep uh, gap distance to the boundaries and then instead of just putting a generic size over here for all the stones I'm going to go to multiple sizes because maybe maybe you have stock uh, group of stones so maybe you have uh, let's say that I have 16 stones that are two millimeters right and maybe I have uh, eight stones that are 1.8 uh, 1 and and then I have 20 uh, that are 1.65 right you know the gap still you know the same you know and the compounded diamond and notice that we have blue green and pink over here those are going to be the colors that it's going to assign to each type of stone when it, when it puts that it puts in so what it's going to try to do is going to try to fill in with 16 the 16 two millimeter stones once it runs out of those 16s it will jump to the eight and if it runs out of eights then it will jump to the 20 of 165 so let's see what happens here when we click the preview As you can see there, he has done, you know, our pave using the stones that we specifically uh, notice that it ran out of the 16th right here, so it added gr the green ones over here, the 1.8. You know, so you could increase this number if you had more stones, but in this case, we're going to leave it as thinking that this is our stock, and you know, here is our pave. You know, and uh, once you're happy with that, then we can click OK. And it makes the pave with the stones that we actually have in stock instead of using uh, just a generic size.